Good morning, one and all. We, the students of SRM University, presenting the second phase of our project named Talk Control of DC Motor. The purpose of this project is to have a control over the talk as a factor of load. In textile industry, the sewing mill unit undergoes this problem, hence they are incapable of driving loads, which are in order of few kilograms. We are going to try out some of these facts which are being faced in the industrial level. The loads which are being used are the jeans cloth which is sent in the machine for swing. As you would have seen in, in our videos last time, it was emphasized more on the analysis and stability of our system designed and for further adaptability in the industrial platform. This video describes about the no load design of DC motor through the experimental setup. In order to decide upon the speed requirements, we have done the testing based on three requirements. These are establishing a relationship between the torque and speed under no load and load condition. Second is the configuring of the FPGA module with the NISB Rio for deployment. Second is the third is the interfacing between the DC motor and an ISB Rio for the response of the system. This video demonstrates about the DC motor which we have procured it. It's a 12 volt DC motor which can establish up to 24 volt DC with 0.2 HP of power. This has been connected to a RPS for a further first requirement that is to check the RPM rating of the DC motor. As you can see the supply has been given to the DC motor. The shaft has started rotating. We are using a DC tachometer in order to find the RPM rating of the DC motor. It has been connected to the shaft of the DC motor. As you can see the motor rotates at the rate of 3300 to 3500 RPM. This motor at the rating of 0.2 HP has an average rotation up to 3300 rpm on an average this is on a no load scale now we are going to try it out under load the load up being applied is on the basis of two things the load applied from the bottom and the load totally depending upon the shaft first we are act actually holding the load such that the motor doesn't get overloaded Again, the 12 volt DC supply has been given. Now, when the motor has started rotating, the RPM reading is being calculated. When the load is not actually activated onto the system, again, the RPM rating can be seen as 3200 nearing 3200 with less pressure being applied onto the shaft. The weight being used is 1 kilograms. Now we are going to see how the weight gets loaded onto the DC motor. Now the weight totally depends upon the shaft. Henceforth, the 1 kilogram is being applied onto the shaft of the system. The mode DC voltage has been given to, to the DC motor. That's 12.5 volts. We are just going to see how the shaft is able to rotate on the load being applied. Again, a digital tachometer being used is going to be connected onto the shaft of the system or the motor. Now, if you see the RPM reading, it goes to 2800, somewhere less than 3000, and keeps on rotate, keeps on vibrating. So this shows that upon the application of the load, the RPM speed decreases, which is quite practical, as you can see it on our screens. This is the load which we are trying to bring about a difference in the system, where the normal DC motor under the load condition reduces the speed, and this is why the production area in this textile industry is being affected as the sewing machine doesn't get the effective RPM
to stitch the cloths or the jean cloth depending upon the load it doesn't get activated as quickly as possible so this was the first part of our second video which shows about the torque and speed relations under load and no load when given a DC excitation 